Adam. Wow, two in one day. Did maintenance take the plague cross off my door? I'm sorry. Arya was here earlier, and now you. That's two agents to walk through my door willingly. You know, while I have you, I'd love to talk with you about Rucker. That's actually why I'm here. You're kidding, right? Because this never happens. Sometimes I literally feel like a dentist. I have a suspicion about who might be behind the hit on Rucker. A name. I link came back with nothing, but... But maybe I can use some of my shrink your tricks to see what I can dig up. Maybe draw up a profile for you? So who's the guy? Victor Marchenko. Oh, he sounds bad. No sweat, it's nice to feel like I'm part of something. I'll let you know if I have any luck. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. We should find out, but it's not quite a <laughs> Adam, what are you doing in here? Suppose I can ask you the same thing, Delara. I'm worried about Vince Black, the head of our organized crime division. I was leaving a message for Director Miller, asking if he's heard from him. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... He never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy. Kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why well, stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Lyon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. Is there anything in Black's psyche valve that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take? I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Manderley? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderley are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderley started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderley came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns, so if you'll excuse me...
I've managed to track Vince all the way to the repertory cinema yesterday. Unequivocally false. The goal of the legislation is to ensure that they are as not augmented, but I have many friends who are. And most of them are afraid to walk outside of their homes right now. Because if they do, the level of hatred and suspicion aimed at them, it's horrible. The they want down. to feel safe again, and the Human Restoration Act can give Delara, I'm in Vince's office. I think I have a lead. An appointment Vince made with an informant. That sounds promising, Adam. You willing to follow up? Only way to find out what happened to him. If something happened to him. Let's not assume the worst just yet. On the up front. Yeah. What the hell kind of crazy company is this? I'm going to get the police if this continues. I wish I knew they let your kind in here. I wouldn't have given them my business. Mind your own business. <sighs> Mother taught me never to trust an all. One of the first things I like this to do when I visit a new city is see it right from above. Home. And one thing I've learned. Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobramila. Please, you. No, you, you are too. I'm sorry, I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. I know about your meeting. And I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other. Who are you? What is it you think you know? Vince and I work together. I know who he is. I know what he does. And I know there are people worried about him. Is he in danger? Has something happened to him? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I get the feeling he's not the only one who might be in danger. That was some shot in the dark. You had no way of knowing who I was, why I was here. It wasn't a total shot in the dark. You're obviously not the rally. Though I should have known right away that Vince Black wouldn't be augmented. I should be more discreet. We both should. What kind of trouble are you in, exactly? Vince wanted me to sell information about my husband's operation. The list runs a... It's something Vince was digging into. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please. I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? What exactly are you hoping to get out of this? I want to know who I'm dealing with. Not here! What part of this discretion do you not understand? I can protect you if it comes to that. I don't need you to protect me. Listen to me. I know what I'm doing. Now, please. There is courage, and there is suicide. We shouldn't be talking like this here. All right, where do you suggest we talk? <laughs> oh, darling. You are so sweet to say such things to me. <laughs> I can walk you out of here. You'll be fine. No. I don't want them to see us together. Please. I am leaving by train tonight. 
There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks in Chikashka. Go before me and I'll meet you there. I promise to give you whatever information you need. You sure you'll be all right until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. We'll see each other soon, I promise. The police will Really are. Any word on what happened to Vince? I just spoke to his contact. A woman he was supposed to meet to get info on some Devali op. Problem is, he never showed up. I have a really bad feeling about this. Do whatever you can, Adam, to pick up his trail. Let's hope he's alright. Can't even trust the pup. in the open. Over there, in the shadows. Oh, God! Time to close that no. mouth of yours! No, 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 no! Неси свои деньги в другое место. Я с такими, как ты, дел не веду. Чё? Ты что-то сказал? Да. No. Конечно. No, 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 no. All I wanted was a fresh start. here to kill me. I mean, I know what kind of man my husband is, but to sit those animals on me? Oh, I tried to tell you inside the club. We needed to be more discreet. You sure he's the one who sent them? Who else? Glesta is not a good man. He smuggles weapons, drugs, whores, you name it. All of it heading east. 
Oh, it's obvious now that he knows that I know. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored, and I have the code to get in. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? That is what Vince wanted. I was going to give him this information, and in exchange he was going to pay for my ticket out of Prague. Don't you understand? I must leave Vlesta tonight. I must get as far as I can. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting, I don't know what to think of him anymore. I put my faith in you now. Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Or do you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Vlesta knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. Given what happened with those men, the way they attacked us, seems like you're in even more danger than you thought. Don't worry. I will be careful. Just as you must be, darling. Besides, I'll be out of Prague within the hour, and Vlesta will never see me again. Assuming, of course, that you can pay. What else do I need to know about your husband? Lester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... This monster. I want him to test failure. To have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. I wouldn't cry over him. Alright, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Here. The ticket's already been bought. Open-ended. You leave when you want. All right. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for. The Diwali op Vince was digging into? I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Huh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you... came by it how, exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find.
anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. What are you doing here? If Vlaster sees you, he'll... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlaster, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlaster. Vlaster's not my friend. He's... he's a necessary evil. Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Gollum were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago, I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university years ago. I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you are not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Vlast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money, and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Golem was hell. It is hell. I understand doing whatever it takes to get as far away as possible. If you believe that, then you have to leave. I promised Vince I would follow the rules. If Lasta finds you here, he'll get paranoid and call off our deal. And then he'll call Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlaster. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago. The basement of a convenience store in Davni Obvut. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know. Please. This is my ticket now. Do you understand? Promise me. I came here to find out what happened to Vince Black. What else can you tell me about your dealings with him? You pay these cops in Golem a lot of money and they get you to Vince's apartment. Then you pay Vince. Then Vlaster comes to pick up the cargo, so then you pay Vlaster. Vlaster and Vince... They had some kind of fight about money. About the location of this place. Vlaster's men blindfolded me and brought me here. And told me to wait. It's Vlaster! 
Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is come that on, I come won't on, let's get this shit in the I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? I'm looking for Vince Black. Tell me whatever you know about him and we don't have to have a problem here. He's not a threat to you. He just wants to know about Vince. Whatever you're going to do, Vrasta, do it quick. You wanna know about Vince? Sure, no problem. Vince and I work together. He used his agency contacts to get me merchandise. Keep Interpol off my back. But then Vince got greedy. And so I shot him in the face. Like this. Moving closer! I'm just here to see my friend off, make sure she's in good hands. As long as I have no reason to worry about all of you, you have no reason to worry about me. See her off? This look like an airport lounge to you? I didn't tell anyone. I swear. Whatever you're going to do, Vrasta, do it quick. I don't like surprises. When people break my terms, it makes me want to break things. Or maybe not break them, maybe strip them down. Sell them for parts. You're the boss here, Vlasta. I only came because I was worried about her. But I see now I have no reason to worry. Only if you can take care of herself. Worried about your friend, huh? How thoughtful of you. I'm a thoughtful guy. And I'm smart enough to know when I've made a mistake. Shouldn't have come here. Shouldn't have jeopardized her like that. He's telling the truth. He's a friend of mine. He followed me because he was worried. Vasta, we need to move. All right. Okay, friend. Time for you to leave now. But if anything goes wrong because of you, if I have any reason to regret this, Olivia won't get where she needs to go. You understand? I'm not gonna do anything that puts her in danger. Thank you for that. It's been a long time since someone did me a favor. You're not out of the woods yet, and I think you know that. I'm giving you a way to contact me, if anything goes wrong. Hey, lovebirds, we're on a schedule. Let's wrap this up. I'll be fine. I promise. Here, I was saving this for when I got to Rabia, but I think you should have it. It's the least I can do. There isn't enough respect for the old ways anymore. What part of patrolling together makes you think we're friends? I said she can come, but not before you get out of here. Bye-bye. We all have places we need to be. You have no right to do that here. What's the matter? Your woman leave you, eh? 
<laughs> You're looking Don't for worry. a worry. Your friend will be fine. Be ready to pay. We need to branch out and complete control of the city. Delara, I found Vince. You were right to have a bad feeling. What are you saying, Adam? Is he... Yeah. Should have been pulled months ago. It's all over his profile. Vince lost his edge. A person tries to be two things at once, sometimes he ends up not being either of them. He becomes lost. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna let you be the one to. Break this to Miller. Right. Of course. Be careful out there, Adam. Mm -hmm. Dejte ho kam najevo, že tady 